What's up, chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, yes, yes, this makeup look is your first day back to school, back to school first day slay makeup look. And the reason why I decided to do this dramatic um, look that you would say, damn, for first day, let's be realistic. Lately, that whole contour, wing liner, pack on highlight, um, bake your face, beat your face to death is pretty much what's in today. And you'll be surprised, 13, 14, 15 years old girl can wear makeup better than a lot of YouTube makeup artists here. So the reason why I said let me slay, because you know that the first day of school, you're gonna wanna slay. First, that's one thing. And two, you know you're gonna wake up early because you have to look extra pretty for that first day of school, for that first impression. So I'm pretty sure that if you're watching makeup tutorials, you are gonna be one of the many that are gonna slay your first day of school. And I want us to slay the first day of school as well. So this is the reason why I put together this um, rose gold purpley smoky look. And um, yeah, I said, why not? There's people that want to slay their first day back to school. I'll be wanting to slay, I'll be like, Highlight on fleek, let me have my lashes, let me have my wing line, let me just slay. Like this. How you doing? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyways, if you're the type of girl that wants to slay the first day back to school and you want to see how I shape this look, all you have to do is keep watching. Okay, so we're starting off with the moisturizer and I'm using the Clinique Dramatically Different. This is my moisturizer. We're gonna start with the face, with the eyes actually. It's a little harder, so we're gonna do the eyes first. And I just like to conceal my eyes to use as a base, so the eyeshadow stay a lot longer. I'm going in with the Naked Three palette by Urban Decay. This is the rose gold palette, and I'm going in with that fourth shadow right there, which is like a lighter mauvey color. And I'm just packing that on my crease, and I'm using it as a transition color. I'm packing a lot of color, and I'm blending away with a blending brush so I'm going in with a dome shaped brush a little bit more dense and I'm going in with that darker color right there I will leave the color names on the bottom and I'm applying this on the outer part of the crease and I'm just pretty much making a defined crease with this just giving it a little bit more of intensity and a little bit more of a smoky color then I'm going in with that light shade right up at the corner and I'm applying a little bit on my lid so I can prepare the lid for the shimmery color that I am applying. So I'm using a Mika Beauty Mineral Loose Powder Shadow. I will leave the color down below because right now I can't find it. And I wet my um, shadow brush so I can pack on a lot of color. And I actually did this a couple of times, it's just that I did it off camera. And then I'm blending it in with the darker color just to make sure everything looks blended. And I'm using a liquid liner and this one is the Ramel Exaggerates liquid liner and I'm applying it very close to my lash line and making a wing line and like I said it was a dramatic look so yes we're doing a wing line you can wing it as far as you want and you can skip the lashes but I want it to be extreme and go all out and I apply lashes now we're moving on to brows and I'm actually using this benefit brow pencil which is from the new collection and I have to say ladies I am absolutely loving this pencil I love how it defines them how it fills them and how they look and the color I think is I picked number four now we're moving on to the face and we're prep we already put moisturizer so we're applying uh, primer this is what I've been using for primer and I absolutely love it I'm using two foundations I'm using the L'Oreal Inflatable Pro Glow and the Milani 2-in-1 and the reason why I chose these two is because coverage wise and these two foundations they tend to last for a very long time and that's what we want we want to make sure that our foundation stays in place for the whole entire time we're in school and I am just blending it away and I decided to blend with a foundation brush to make sure that everything adheres perfectly to my skin and I'm just using a powder just to pretty much set everything and make sure everything looks a little bit more mattified then I'm going in with the concealer and I'm using the Maybelline H Rewind dark circle eraser and of course just blending it away I did apply a little bit of concealer beforehand before I apply the foundation just because my under eyes are so heavy you can do a concealer or you can do a color correct um, salmon color whichever you like but I just apply concealer then I am using a banana powder to set my under eyes 
Yes, girl, we're going all out. And I'm using this new powder that I recently discovered. Everyone's raving about it. And it's called Air Spun Loose Face Powder. And it's translucent. And I am just baking my face. And then I'm going in with the Hula of by Benefit bronzer. And I actually been liking mixing that with the Amaretto from uh, the Jaclyn Hill face palette. And I'm just applying that uh, anywhere you would contour your face, temples, forehead, all the other good stuff. And I'm removing the powders already. You don't need to let it bake for 15 minutes. I mean, it's totally up to you. Now for uh, blush, sorry, I'm using MAC Desert Rose. It's a beautiful mauve matte color. And for highlight, I'm mixing Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop. And I am just <laughs> highlighting away, baby. And then at the bottom of my eyes, I like to apply the darker shade. And I like to put it a little bit on my lower lash line. And then of course, I need more highlight. So highlight everywhere, as you can see. <laughs> and then for lips, is this color that you guys been requesting and liking. This is ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in the color Trap. And this will be my completed look. and you like the look don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below are you going to slay your first day of school or are you just gonna meh your first day of school when i mean meh it's like whatever you know some jeans some t-shirts some sneakers hair in a bun and some glasses and we out the door thank you so much for sticking till the end Mwah. this will be blessed precious pearls i'll see you ladies on my next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there